Hi there. I haven't showed you this whole process I've done for this large commission because it's just too complex when I'm doing a, a difficult subject and it's quite large to talk about all the time while I'm working. But I wanted to show you one of the little techniques I'm using. So I've got the figure in on the horse. It's going to be, I've got some trees to go down here and some trees along the horizon there. So that's still got to go in, but what I'm working on now is the foreground grasses. And if I just zoom in here for you, what I want to show you is how I've, the techniques I've used for this. So I've just scrambled in using a fairly dry brush, uh, just lots of ultramarine blue, I've, I've got purples, I've got, uh, here's my little palette here, let's have a look at that. I've been using ultramarine blues, purples, some Mars black, not very much of that at all, um, and some Indian reds uh, for the dark colours. I've got some uh, yellow ochre and some raw sienna dark there, which I've been using for some of the intermediate colours. And I'm just taking my brush, dipped it in and scrambled it around like so, just varying my hand in the directions that I go. But now I, I want to put in the highlights. And what I have here is my old buttered, buttered, <laughs> battered, it's just a house paint, house paint brush there. And it's very dry. You want to keep it dry for this. And what I'm doing is just dipping it into some of the uh, ochre, sorry, some of the Naples yellow and some of the yellow ochre. You can mix them up or you can just dab like that. Giving it a few bounces on the palette and then I'm just dragging it. And you get nice random, let's zoom in on that. In, in, Lindy. So let's do a bit more in this area here. So I get nice random bits of strokes and again I can vary that around. If it gets too much I'm just going to put something else back over it later on. And I, it gives us that little sun kissed top of the um, grasses there because it's a, a setting sun over there. So in they go. They get too excited by it but we need a few of them to enliven the scene and make it look um, believable. So well, let's pull it back a bit so you can see where I'm going with this. So down around the, the dark area here I'm just putting a few lights in and you get this lovely contrast going on. A few over here but not too many because it's going out to, towards the edge and I don't want to get so uh, so interested over there. Similarly over here, I'm going to add some in and as I'm going back, I make them shorter and not so uh, long as here, but as I come in forward, I can pull them down a bit and make them uh, a little bit longer there. You can use this technique to set up a nice directional flow as well. And if you think you're going too far with the, the lights, you can go back in with some of the darks. I just want to add a few along the edges of the shadows there. Just a little suggestion of some of it back here. Maybe a little bit of it here on the edges of the, the shadow. running out just dip it down it back in and do a few more. And this way it just naturally mixes with your brush and you get very because it's a very beaten up brush you get very organic kind of shapes coming off it which is very helpful when I'm trying to describe 
grass. So now I've got a nice sense of light coming in there. I've got a bit of a pathway going out towards the horse's head. There's a little pathway here towards that bright boot and then the pathway goes back through the shadow and the uh, grass is next to it. So I'm just running my brush now a little bit horizontally because it's so far back there you don't actually see much uh, detail. So I'm just running a little bit of a horizontal and there you can see where the light's just catching the grasses. Uh, and maybe, maybe not so much there, so I'm dragging a little bit of the dark through there, the darker colours. So that's basically how I'm treating my, my grasses. If I want to have a bit more detail in there, I can always dip it into the, the darker colours. And mix up something slightly darker and give a few pools of some grasses in the dark and more shadowed colours there. So I'm keeping within the shadow but I'm giving a little bit of interest in the shadow area too. Down as I'm coming forward I'm not putting too much um, detail in there. I don't really want detail. I want my eye to be going out and I might put in just a couple of is along the edge of where it's coming out of the shadows and into the, the light a little bit. with those grasses. So that's just a little tip on how to get the That's just a small tip on how to get that uh, highlight on the grasses without much detail at all and without much um, thought about it. You want to be for me it's sort of intuitive. I just let the brush fall, move my hand around in a very sort of this is the way the grass grows way. Um, it's much more natural than going in with a very small round brush and drawing each one in individually. And because the brush is very that I'm using is very frayed and, and uh, jagged, it's happened in a very... Um, not in a patterned way, so it doesn't look man-made at all. It's got a very natural look to it, so that's what's really helpful in getting those grass tips. Okay, that's my tip for today. Bye.